president toured that snap on headquarters right after he spoke with Charles. He said it's important for American tools to be used building American products. He maintains he'll get to work right away with Governor Walker, Senator Ron Johnson, and House Speaker Paul Ryan to get Canada to change its new law forbidding the importation of milk from Wisconsin dairy farmers. What's happened to you is very, very unfair. It's another typical one-sided deal against the United States, and it's not going to be happening for long. So, Scott, you and Ron and myself and Paul and everybody else, we're going to get together, and we're going to call Canada, and we're going to say, what happened? And they might give us an answer, but we're going to get the solution, not just the answer, okay? Because we know what the solution is, all right? Well, Julia Fellow is with people who protested against the president's visit. She's live with us in just a moment. But first, we want to go to Tom Durian, who has more on what the president had to say. You were inside during that message. Yeah, Shannon Georgia, the president's message of buy American, hire American was well received here at this company, of course, that puts a priority on American manufacturing. It's America first. You better believe it. It's time. It's time. President Trump with an echo of his campaign speech that won him the state of Wisconsin. I want to thank the people of Wisconsin for doing so much for me. The president signed his Buy American, Hire American executive order on top of a snap-on tool chest flanked by Wisconsin officials and members of his cabinet. For decades, this company has served the needs of American workers. It's time we had a federal government that does the same. Part of the executive order focuses on the H-1B employment visas. The visas are supposed to be awarded to the most skilled or highest paid applicants, but the president says that's not happening. Right now, widespread abuse in our immigration system is allowing American workers of all backgrounds to be replaced by workers brought in from other countries to fill the same job for sometimes less pay. Mr. Trump also spoke directly to his Wisconsin audience on the issue of dairy farmers who could go out of business because of a Canadian trade change. Because in Canada, some very unfair things have happened to our dairy farmers and others, and we're going to start working on that. What's happened to you is very, very unfair. It's another typical one-sided deal against the United States. Well, on the issue of health care, which looked to be dead in the water just a few weeks ago, the president says he hopes to tackle that and then move on to tax reform, one helping with the other. We're live tonight in Kenosha. Tom Durain, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Tom.